In this video we're going to look at installing the PAO MQTT client using PIP. Now most installation instructions uh, go like this pip install PAO dash MQTT and here is the official site uh, download site and if I scroll down to the installation you can see here it is very simple. Now it's not always that simple and in this video I'm going to take you through some of the gotchas you're going to encounter installing uh, not just the uh, MQTT client in Python but also other Python modules and we're going to be looking at the install on Windows and we're going to be looking at the install on, on Linux. Now I'm going to start by looking at the install on Windows and the first thing I want to show you is my C drive and you can see here I've actually got four versions of Python installed on this machine and this is really what causes a problem when you've got multiple uh, versions of Python installed on, on a computer. Uh, most people have uh, because they've upgraded from uh, one version to another version. So let's go to a command line and the version I actually use even though I've installed Python 3.6 is the Python 3.4 that's the one I use uh, day to day and that's the one that I've installed the uh, Power client on uh, the 3.4 version. So let's go to the command prompt So here we are at the command prompt and I'm at the root of the C drive and if I just type in pip, I'm not going to do an install, I'm just going to do a pip minus version and this will tell me where pip is going to install its files. Now here it's going to install them in the 3.6 packages. So this pip is the actual pip that comes with version uh, 3.6. Now it gets the the pip version from the system path. So if I take a look at the system path using the echo you can see it here and you can see here we're going to get and you can see here uh, 3.6 is listed first it's going to look in the scripts directory and that's where the pip program is and it's going to look in the Python 36 directory and that's where Python is and then after that it's going to look in the C34 directory and the C34 scripts directory so it's always going to find the 36 version or 3.6 version before it finds the 3.4 version so that doesn't just apply to pip if I type in Python and this is what you normally do you type in Python a script name to run a script if I just type in Python to get the command prompt, it will tell me what version it's using. It's going to use again the 3.6 version. And it gets that from the system path. So let's exit that, Control Z. So if I want to install under the 3.6 version, or if I want to run a program that relies on 3.6, I can just do that. I don't need to be in any particular directory to do that that will work okay. So under those circumstances the standard pip install paho-mqtt will work and it will install it in the Python 3.6 uh, packages. So what happens if I want to run a program under the 3.4 version and what happens if I want to install under the 3.4? Well the easiest way to do it is to change your the directory and I go into Python 34. Now if I run Python now it will run the 3.4 version. That's because Python is sitting in this, this working directory. However, if I run pip pip still going to install it in the 3.6 directory and that's because pip is not in the Python 34 directory it's in the Python 34 scripts directory so if I change to scripts and then try pip again this time it uses a 3.4 version so if I want to be sure that pip's going to install the 
files in under the 3.4 version then I change into the scripts directory and I run pip from there and that will work but now we have another problem because if I just type in Python this time it's going to use a 3.6 version and that's because Python isn't in this directory it's in a directory above it and so it uses the system path to locate the program and the first one it locates is the 3.6 version there are a couple of ways around that and what I do at the top of my scripts that I want to run with 3.4 is this is for Windows I include a line here that tells it where to get the version from so the, I include the absolute path you can see here C Python 34 Python.exe and that will actually work it will run the 3.4 version not only that by including this name here sorry by including this line here you don't have to run the script by using python check config.py you can just use check config.py without the python prefix because of this line here it knows where to get the python from the version of python from i also include a line in my scripts now that prints out the version of python it's using you can see it here there's a the command there and let's run this script so I'm going to change into the directory run the script and see how it goes okay so here's the the script I'm in the actual directory that's got got the script in there so I'm just running check config.py mosquito.conf and this uh, script is a simple script it just checks a mosquito configuration file so you can see it's running and it's actually using the 3.4 version and notice I didn't include the Python prefix which you normally do uh, because of that uh, hashbang line at the beginning of the script and we'll see that hashbang line again under Linux but it's actually a, a different format you can't use the same one for a Windows machine and a Linux machine so that's pip and Python under Windows now we're going to take a look at pip and Python uh, under Linux so here we are at the command line this is on a, a Raspberry Pi the, the screen isn't as clear as the other one because I'm on a, a remote terminal and if I just type in uh, the commands that I was using earlier on if I just use pip minus version you can see this one's going to use the uh, 2.7 Python 2.7 there's actually multiple Python versions on this machine there's uh, 2.7 and 3.5 and if I type in Python and go into the command line you can see by default it runs the 2.7 version and if I type in the command where is Python you can see it's got a version of Python in these directories there's the 3.5 version and here's the 2.7 version and if I type in the path command you can see it looks very different from Windows and it's going to look in these directories for the Python executables so it looks very different on Linux than it does on, does on Windows so if I just want to do a pip install under 2.7 I just use pip and that, that will work now to do to install under 3.5 I need to use the pip3 command and if I again look at the version here you can see it's going to put it under the 3.5 and if I do the python3 command you can see it starts the 3.5 version so if I want to install um, the MQTT client under the 3.5 version I do a pip3 install if I want to install it under the 2.7 version I do a pip install just plain pip install now if we have a look at the file system you can see here everything's under the user bin if I go into that bin directory 
it's not so clear on this screen here but there's the pip3 and there's the, the pip command under the user bin directory and if I scroll down we can see the Python there's the Python uh, Python Python 2.7 you can see here the Python is actually a symbolic link and it links into this one here and Python 3 again is a symbolic link and it links into this one here uh, it will vary depending on your version of Linux so while it's while it's running on uh, whether this one's running on a Raspberry Pi it might be different if you're running it uh, under Ubuntu or other op or other Linux versions uh, the shebang line on Linux, now it's usually uh, the form like this, has shebang user bin environment Python, but if we use this on our script, then it will actually use the default version of Python, which is 2.7, which we don't really want to do. And so what we need to do is to be explicit and actually use the this version here. I'm missing the hash shebang in front of it, but this should be a hash shebang in front of that, and user bin Python 3.5 to run version Python 3.5. Okay that's a quick overview of how to use the pip command to install on Windows and on Linux and uh, how to run programs using the Python command and things that you need to be aware of when you're doing it especially when you've got multiple versions of Python installed on a machine which you normally have anyway. And so it brings us to the end of the video and if you've got any comments on the video then please leave them below if you like the video then use the like button below and if you want to get notified of new videos you can always subscribe to the channel and if you use social media then feel free to share it on social media until next time goodbye